For our ancestors, the ending of the winter across the Northern Hemisphere and the return of the sunlight was welcomed and celebrated by the May festivals. The most beautiful and abundant expression of the arrival of the summer is the May tree, which bursts into blossom in the month of May. In herbal medicine and its symbolism and place in folklore and in legend, the heart, love and protection are key to this little tree. The May tree. So thick in its dress of white flowers in May, symbolized abundance and success and fertility, marrying the earth with the sunlight's energy. And so the May time was a time for people to gather together, celebrate life and celebrate each other. It is the tree that symbolizes fertility, sexual union, commitment and true friendship. So originally the pole around which the maypole dancers danced was actually a little hawthorn tree taken uncut so that the tree spirit still lived in the hawthorn to the village where the May festival was held. The honoring of the tree spirit was central to the celebration because honoring the tree spirit would earn the blessing of fertility of the land and health for the community ensuring a good harvest in the autumn. The wishing trees on Tara Hill, one of Ireland's most sacred sites, are amongst the most visited in Ireland today, where this age-old respect and belief that to honour the Hawthorne is to honour its spirit and so can bring good fortune. The May tree is the one tree that can still be found freestanding in a field of grass or other crop, such is the superstition that surrounds the tree and the belief that to cut the tree would bring a lot of bad luck. With the development of the new Christian religion, pagan beliefs and understanding were overcome so that together with Christianity and technology, the link in our understanding to the natural world was severed and perhaps utterly cut. So the May tree becomes a symbolic with bad luck and misfortune, with chastity, abstinence from sex, and her month, the month of May, changes from a party and celebration time to a time of complete opposite, of waiting, of abstinence, moral control, and purification ceremonies. The May tree goes through a revolution in image, symbolism, because of the change in religion, nature is vilified. What is natural is bad. Don't forget though that the Hawthorne is the tree in Celtic folklore that governs the heart and that includes the virtue of forgiveness and the provision of psychological protection. So just perhaps the May tree might re-engage us with the natural world upon which we depend. May tree's leaves, the petals of its May flowers, and especially its red berries, are very good for the heart. Throughout the summer, the hawthorn's berries go from a green to a deep red with the turn of the season to the autumn. The red berries are especially good for stabilizing the heart, depressing or stimulating it so that the berries can be used as a long-term treatment for angina, heart weakness, palpitations and high blood pressure. A kind of tea or cardiac tonic can be made from the berries and a tonic tea from the blossoms is said to be good for circulation and the heart. A growing body of recent scientific research supports age-old herbal medicines understanding of the health benefits of hawthorn berries and flowers. It's known that the berries contain antioxidants including oligomeric prosyanidins, which are also found in grapes, and quercetin, which is a powerful flavonoid. Quercetin is a powerful immune booster found also in blueberries, blackberries, cherries, grapes and apples. Flavonoids are a potent antioxidant that protect the body against silent inflammation, said to be a leading cause of cancer, heart disease, stroke and dementia. Hawthorne also improves oxygenation of the blood, boosting energy levels. 
from a spiritual point of view it's believed that the hawthorn will help release blocked energy and allows trust to develop having dispelled fear and therefore opens the path to love and so of all the trees the hawthorn is the tree for the healing of the heart finally I'd like to acknowledge a website called whitedragon.org.uk for excellent information and uh, appreciation of the hawthorn tree so if you want to know more definitely have a look at that website